Good Monday morning, Vitalman. This could be with you at the beginning of your work week as you get started out today. You know, today in my mind is a, is a time of reflection as we look back, as we've just uh, seen the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And I don't want to continue to keep beating that, but I think it's important for us to remember and also to the lives that were sacrificed, lost lives that were lost aimlessly in the midst of the tragedy of another group of terrorists who have hit our nation. And I'll bet you it kind of saddens my heart at the same time as we look back and we reflect on the 20th anniversary only to see that group of individuals able to rise again and take over another nation as we have left that nation and our leadership has turned their back on Afghanistan itself. And the very men that were in imprisoned by some of the other people, other presidents of our nation in order to fight against terrorism, only to be released to fight another day. I don't know about you, but I can remember going back in time as I think about 20 years ago of the very place where I was when I heard on the radio the tragedy that was happening as our nation was being attacked. And I think even then, as it does today, we look for hope, hope in the midst of the moments that happen. And I hope today that we that I give you a word of hope. And this, this is what I want you to think about this morning as we look at hope. The Old Testament word for hope has a connotation of a cord used as an attachment. The New Testament calls it an anchor of the soul. That's in Hebrews 6.19. Allow hope to be the best measure in your life it's your lifeline, and it will be your stabilizer. That is hope. Hope in Christ, again, is our lifeline, men, and our stabilizer in the midst of the days in which we live. I hope today, as we, this weekend, and has the 20th anniversary has passed of 9-11. But let's not forget. Let's remember. Let's continue to have hope, even in the midst of the of not understanding the direction of the leadership in which our nation is currently going. But we continue to pray that God will rise and raise leaders as he did back then, that he will do it again so that our nation will once again have its eyes back on Jesus. And by doing that is what I believe will help America be great again. Not a man, but only Jesus and it starts with you, Vitalman. Allow your heart to have hope today. Strength and courage. Always good to be with you in the beginning of your work week. We'll see you next week.